da, 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 da. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's taken a little while to come on at my end. I'm not sure if you're on at your end. What's occurring? Here we go. Yes, let's join the chat. There I am. Hello, 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 hello. Right, I know there's going to be a lot of you, so I probably won't keep up with this chat, but Emmy will be in. She will. Um... Hello, everybody. How are we? How the hell are we all? Da, 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 da. Oh, goodness me. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. If you're new, welcome to our website. We shall just wait for people to... Um, oh, I don't want the chat on. I'll just wait for people to get in and find us. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I shall just give you a few minutes for people to come in. Have you got your cup of tea ready or whatever it is you're drinking? Hmm? Yes, final, final dilutions class for the year. I wonder how many I've done. Emmy, do you know how many nights I've taught this year? I don't know if she'll know. Or how many courses or whatever, or how many nights. I don't know. That would be interesting to know, wouldn't it? I'm a bit hot, can you tell? <laughs> Growing this fringe out <coughs> is not good when you're menopausal. <laughs> Ooh. So it's a Thursday. I was going to do this on Tuesday and then Emmy was really busy. So we moved it. Yesterday was the resident bit of Glamour's birthday. It was Jay's birthday. So we were having birthday cake at her house and then they were at the pantomime. Oh, yes, they were. Oh, no, they weren't. <laughs> so today was the one. So when I finish, I have to go pick Maisie up. I've got Maisie tonight and tomorrow. I've got Miss Betsy all day tomorrow, actually. So, yes, Barry, who knew two and a half years ago you would be doing online classes with Diane Reevely? I wouldn't have done them. Ben had been on at me for such a long time and I was like, no, 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 I'm not professional enough. <laughs> oh, but um, here we, yeah, here we are. I think we're on online class 57 and I think distinctly dilutions which are the courses i think we're on about 37 or something like that something like that i'm not sure so um yeah okay so if you are new here <coughs> if your screen goes off if the video stops just go out refresh the whole page and come back in and you'll be fine sometimes sometimes it kicks me out it kicks me out of chat a lot i don't know why um but all you have to do is go back out if you if you lose sound go back out if you lose the screen go back out and just refresh i am not responsible for anybody's wi-fi connection wherever they are okay if it goes off here we will let you know so if it goes off here which it sometimes does 
Emmy will normally type and say, um, just refresh and we try and get back on this on the same one sometimes it cuts me off right at the end if it cuts me off right at the end um i won't be coming back on i'll just go because i have to give mr boo his insulin um it either cuts me off halfway through so i get back on or it cuts me off right at the end <laughs> so but you know if you type on the screen, if I'm still going and you type on the screen, you know, can anybody else not hear? I can't, you won't be able to hear me. So just go out, refresh and come back in. Okay. If you are watching this not live, if you are watching this, Miranda, it's more than 100 nights because we've done 37 um, <clears throat> five night ones. So that's like 200 nights so um yeah i've probably done about 250 nights anyway if you are watching this not live there will be no chat so when you see me and hear me answering questions unfortunately the chat disappears it's the only downfall and somebody did complain about it and you know what for the quality you get of everything else on here, it's it's tough, you know. So when you watch it the second time, there is no, um, there's no chat on there at all. But I, if I'm answering a question, I do try to tell people what was the, what the question was when I started. You only get to see the chat and to see the chat live when um, when you watch the class live. Okay. Once you've watched this class. If you can't find it, just go back to your account, go to your dashboard and go into classes because at some point it moves from live classes to classes. OK, so, um, you know, if you can't find it, just go from there to the other one and it will stay there. It will stay there as long as you have an account on the website, the um, the class will stay in there. We d We don't delete them or anything like that um and if you have um lots of classes say you've bought some classes and then this is a freebie they will all still be there whether it's a freebie or whether it's um a bought class you know dandelion classes are different you to join you join the dandelion class and once you remember there you go back to dashboard click on dandelion and all your dandelion classes all your free classes and videos will be under the actual dandelion button okay so there's two separate parts to the website there's the cl there's the classes part uh which are the paid classes and then there's the dandelion part as well okay in the classes you purchase every one okay every class you purchase in the dandelions everything is included okay oh i'm, I'm having a real <laughs> it's because there's so many of you there's so many of you in my room with me come on squeeze in a bit more squeeze in we can fit more in here but just don't wear your big coat because you will be boiling i think i'm going to put my hair up in a massive clip once we get going so two more minutes let everybody squeeze in And then I am going to turn this around, okay? When I turn it around, I, I turn it to put it in here, okay? And I have to flip um, the screen at the moment as well. So you might see a bit of my desk or you might see a bit of the ceiling as I go around. Um, it is what it is, okay? You can get these newfangled things where you can press a button and it goes from one to the other. I, d I can't work that so it you get what you can so here we go let me turn this around <clears throat> okay are we in are we in uh, let's have a look do, 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 do. we are wonderful Right, I am going to remove my crown. I had this made, isn't it gorgeous? 
um i've got a couple so it's like little bottle brushes and little things I had it made in america last year it's got all sweets on so i'm just going to put that to one side and i'm going to clip my hair up because i'm a bit warm right you have to have massive clips when you've got masses of hair like i do brilliant there you go okay so <clears throat> Whew, it's a bit warm i've got my sparkly dress on um so those of you who've not been before welcome welcome i would say 70% mm, of people just watch and 30% 30, 30 of people join in. It's entirely up to you, okay? If you don't have the stuff I'm using, get over it and just use something else, okay? I'm doing a winter theme. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, you don't have to put anything Christmassy in. If you don't have anything winter, do it with summer stuff, it doesn't really matter. Oh, gentleman Jim's found his way in. Woo! Hi, Jim. We've just switched this round. Um, just to let you know, Jim, if the screen goes off, just refresh and it will come back on. OK, so um, so I was just saying about 70 percent of people just watch. They just watch the class and they do it later. 30% of people do it with me. You don't have to do it the same. You can ignore me totally. The beauty of teaching online is you can re-watch. You can re-watch the video. You can mute me. You can pause me, okay? So that's the beauty for you. The beauty for me is, me is I can't hear you moaning. Brilliant. Good all round, isn't it? So, uh, so that's what we do. So don't forget... Any newbies, if you get lost, just go back out, come back in um, and you can just happily watch and do it at another time, whatever you fancy. OK, so I am going to be working tonight in my jumpstart journal uh, and I fancy a black page. So I'm going to work on a black page, but you can work on a mixed media page you can work on a craft page. You can work on whatever. You don't want to be on a page that's too not got too much going on. Um, you know, because you, you don't want too much going on in the background to distract you. So I'm going to do a black page, right? And what we're going to do is one of my favourite things to do, really. We're going to create a frame. So we're going to do, we're going to put an effect on the page and we're going to create a frame. And I am going to create the frame with my Christmassy stamps, foliage stamps. These were this year's. OK, so we're going to create a frame with that. I have done something similar in one of my free classes, but we're going to use and one of my, sorry, look a dip classes. But I'm going to do that because it's such a nice class to do. And then I'm also going to use stamps from last Christmas as well. OK, so I'm going to use all kinds of different ones like that. But you don't have to um, you don't have to do the same as me. Like I say, if you don't celebrate Christmas, put just put like foliage and things. If you don't do winter, use my cakes or or my sewing things, etc. I'm also going to add some sewing stamps in so i am going to add in some of the um some of the buttons and all the things like that so you know we're gonna have some buttons and some bobbins and stuff because i like to mix all sorts and i will probably use maybe my christmas image sheets which i use to cut things out and probably some die cuts OK, so you've got sort of a combination of all kinds of things there that you can use. Um, if you haven't got any of that, I'm not quite sure what to say to you. But, you know, I've tried to make it so whatever you've got, you can use. OK, so let's just move those out of the way. So I am going to start on this black page with uh, I'm going to use white. Um, white linen shimmer if you don't have my shimmer paint 
white itself looks amazing, okay? But if you do have the shimmer paints, Balmy Night is gorgeous. Um, you know, lots lots of them will work, but I'm, go I'm going for the white linen shimmer. If you are going, say, on craft, a craft page, or you are going on um, a um, mixed media page, Balmy Nights will be gorgeous. So, but I'm just going to use, I'm going to go on this um, single black page here okay so i'm going to start with some white linen shimmer paint and a blending tool okay this background that i'm going to put on makes absolutely no difference to the page it just adds a little bit something so again it's up to you you don't have to use the stencils i've got you don't even have to put it on but i'm, I'm going to do this because i've been wanting to do this for a while and keep forgetting to show people what i do so i am going to work with two stencils the same but they can be different as long as one's one's the small size and one's the large size okay so the large size if you look fits the page perfectly and the small size obviously it's smaller and i am going to put the small size there so the reason i'm using the same pattern is I just think it would look cool, okay? It'll just be cool to um, have the small and then have the large round the outside. And that is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. I've done this before. I'm just wondering which book this might be in where I've done this before, actually. I have that many books. I don't know. Hang on, let me have a look in here. No, it's not in this one. Thought I had no, no, it's not in here. Oh, I tell you what is in here. This was the last dandelion class. Okay, this was the last, the class last. Fr the dandelions get free classes. This was their last free class. We did these four pages. So we did cut out windows, and we did all those pages in about two and a half hours. So cool, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, back to tonight. So we are, I am going to use the white shimmer because I just want a little bit of shimmer on it. Okay, blending tool. Oh, look, I'm shimmering. I'm lovely shimmering. So bit of the paint, blend it in, not too much. Blend it in, get a bit more paint blend it in everybody puts far too much paint on and we don't want too much paint what i want you to do is i want you to place the small stencil central central to the page okay and then i want you to place the large stencil on top and hold it where the small stencil is and then what you're going to do is you are going to stencil just up. Can you see? Just up to where the small stencil is. Can you see? So you're stopping where that is. When you add paint, just add a little at a time. And don't go over that small stencil. We just want this to be a border. I'm going to turn my book round because I don't like leaning over myself. So I'm going to place this back on. Hold it on the small stencil. And continue around. And I'm just going round in a circle. Okay. One coat should be absolutely enough, okay? I'm gonna take that off, I'm gonna clean it. Now, if you, um, my studio has really, really strong lights. So unfortunately my paint dries really, really quick and I can't uh, get off, so I just use, I just dampen it slightly and take that off so that's the first stencil 
Okay, and then if you lift this, you will see. So I've made a little frame there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the inside circle. Uh, circle, stencil. You might not be as uh, bothered if things don't, you know, things go over or don't line up or anything like that. If you take some kitchen roll, okay, you can just hook some kitchen roll. I'll just do this corner down there and place the stencil back on. So can you see it's just holding that kitchen roll there. If you're worried about going over the edges i'm never bothered but i know you all are and i know oh and i know this is what you see this is what drives me mad um and i know there's new people here so um i want to show you what else you can do what you can do since we've already done the outside is you can get some low tack tape or some of my washi tape And I'm just going to place some of that there. Dee, 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 dee. And I'm just going to place some of that there. Um, just in case you, you worry that you go over and then you can fit it in there. Can you see? And then I am going to... Um, Get some more paint on my stencil, on my blending tool. And I am going to go in and I'm going to do the central one. Right, I just need a bit more paint. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Okay, so I've done that edge, I can do the centre and then I will move the kitchen roll to the other part. Okay, so I can take that off. I can turn it round. I can position it back on. People get really worried about if stencils move and it, make, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Stick that down. Take that down. Um, if I don't answer your questions, it's because I'm busy. I'm busy doing, so sorry about that. Somebody else usually answers your questions for you. I do try to explain everything as I go, but sometimes things go through the net. If I happen to be looking at the screen and see a question, I will answer it, but usually... I end up missing them. Okay, so <coughs> there you go. Okay, so we have a little gap around it. Now you could have gone right up to that gap, but I just like that little gap around there. You are going to see hardly any of this, okay? Hardly any of this at all. Um, but just imagine if this was another page you were doing and you just put some some collage on here or you just put, I don't know, something like him. You know, you could really show it off, but you don't need to. There is absolutely no need to show this off at all. Now, because I've got paint left over and I hate to waste paint, I am just going to find another black page and I'm going to make some baubles because I hate to waste paint so they will be hanging baubles on another time um, maybe I'll add a few on here as well just to use up all the paint okay and another day I will make those into hanging Bubbles. There we go. Okay, so. <coughs> I 
Do, 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 do. It's lovely, isn't it? It's just so nice. I mean, you could do this in colours. You could do this in two separate colours. You know, the outside could be blue, the inside could be pink or anything like that. But I'm just, um, as I said, because you're not going to see much of it, you're just going to see little bits of this and you'll probably see a little bit of this. But it's something that I wanted, I've been wanting to show people for a long time, how really simply you can get a really nice effect. And again, people think that all your pages have to have all these backgrounds on you know, all these different um, backgrounds, etc. but just something simple. So if you were on a uh, mixed media card stock, you, just this would look really nice. Two colours of this would look lovely. Or if you're using, say, my Jumpstart journal, which is out of print now, but some people still have it, if you were using the, um, the Jumpstart journal, you, um, you know, just add in some stenciling on the top would work so this is this was my late one of my latest christmas ones so this is called the star flurry because it can be stars it can be snowflakes but i'm going to use this all year round okay i'm going to use this all year round um for for flowers okay um the other christmas stencil was the holly and this looks just as nice so I have the large holly and the small holly. I always bring out large and small of the same. Well, nearly always, should I say, because I just like them. I use them for different things. So anyway, there we've got some of that on. So now it's time for a cup of tea. My cup's whistling. Did you hear that? I'm so sorry. Right. So what i'm going to do is um and this is why i say you know a lot of people watch because the dot was time i cut my things out all my things are in boxes like this okay so this is this year's christmas so you can see in this little tray here i've got mainly mainly the people and the trees um whereas in this tray oh Maybe they've got mixed up. In this tray, I've got sort of got the other things. I've got Santa there. But in this tray, I've got like the foliage. These have got a little bit mixed up, but it's okay. You know, I've got lots of foliage going up. By the way, that is what I use as my cornet with the cake on top to make an ice cream cornet. Okay. So what I'm going to be using out of here... And I just stamp loads out onto my mixed media cardstock and then I cut them out. So down here I have um, the book. You can see there's not a lot left in it now. But in here is like lots of the stamped. So that's the, can you see if you put that, it makes an ice cream. So um, I stamp in here and then I cut them all out and I have them all cut ready in boxes like this so that I can just work really really quickly so I am going to pull out some of these and I want two of everything everything I pull out I want two of okay so this I have two of these I'll just for those of you who are quite new let me just um where are the stamps let me show you the stamps from this year that I'm using but as I've said you can use all sorts okay so this one Holly and the Ivy I'm going to be using these stamps here okay these four at the bottom um I might use this this is an old one this is from Kiss Me Under the Mistletoe I'm going to be using these from um Mr Boo's Adventure might use might use the deer don't know uh, probably be using this and um that's probably it okay and then i've got last year's as well so so i'm going to pull twos of each out so i have um two of those two holly so when i'm doing a frame like this this is what i do i stamp two of everything out so 
I'm just going to put those there. And you can change, you can use whatever. I don't tell you exactly what I'm doing because, you know, you'll just make your own, you'll do your own things as well. So what have I got? That one. All the little ones go to the bottom. So I have to just hunt around for the little ones at the bottom. There we go. I've got two of those. I usually use more of those little ones as well. So I'll add some of those in. Um, let's have a couple of the small robins. What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, gosh, I'm so warm today. There's a couple of robins there. I'll have a large robin as well, just bobbing along. Do, 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 bobbing along. Let's have a couple of reindeer. Got some lights there. Um, I'll put these back up and probably use more of them, but for now, this is what I would normally do. A minimum of two of each. Um, and then from the year before, let's see what I've got in here. Oh, I have some of that holly. Um, and as I say, oh, let's have a bow. Let's have some of these. You can use whatever. Just use up the things you've got. You don't have to go out and buy all these stamps or anything like that. Oh, maybe put a little deer in. Oh, we've got some baubles. I, this is what I do. I just root through my stashes and pull out things that I um, might use. And if I use them, that's cool. If I don't, I don't. Okay, so do, 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 do. I'll do the big things later. But anyway, that's what I've got for now. And then I just put them to one side. And if you have done some of my classes before, we've done this technique. We've done it a lot. We've done it with flowers. We've done it with shells. I'm sure we've done it with cakes. And not long ago, we redid it and we did it with Christmassy things. But I'm going to try and make it um, look different to that one. OK, so I have got, apart from the reindeer and the big or anything small, I've got at least two. Some things I've got more doesn't really matter but I would have stamped them and cut them out so I'm just going to pop them there and bring this back and we're going to make a frame going around the edge of here even though there is already a gorgeous frame I mean I know if I just put that on there and put Merry Christmas this page would look lovely but we're going we're gonna to do more so what I normally do is I do um, opposites opposite corners oh I tell you what I forgot to get out I forgot to get to this one from Holly and the Ivy. This is a really popular one. It comes like that, but if you look in my stash, they're all different sizes because I cut them up and I use them, you know, all different ways. So we'll have some Holly and the Ivy as well. Right, so I, I don't, I have a bit of a method, but it's not rigid. OK, so don't panic about this, you, that you could just place these things anywhere. But if you just place them anywhere, you do get yourself in a little bit of a pickle sometimes. OK, so my I've just sorry, I've just realised I didn't get any of the long. I got the corner one, but I didn't get the long flat. Um, so I like to have a little bit of a routine. And what I do is and the reason I have two things is say I take this corner I've lost the other one now. There we go. This corner one. What I will do is I will place it there and I will place this one in the opposite corner. I don't stick anything down at all, but I will just place them in the opposite corners. And then as I go round, whatever I place to the left here, I will place it here and I end up, you know, so I get quite a symmetrical one. But then we add extra little bits in as well. So I'm going to place those two there like that. And then what I might do is I might take these two hollies and place them in those corners. 
Okay, um, let's take a little bit of this. Let's place, actually, let's come down this way. Let's place that down there. And then let's place that one there. So can you see, wherever I place one, I, put, I place one opposite as well. Um, and you can move these and it, it's not, you know, it doesn't really matter. But we could, this is how I normally would start with one. Um, so now if I come, oh, how about this one? Let's pop that one there. So therefore, I will pop that one there. So basically, it doesn't matter what stamps you're using at all. Just that you've got two of them sort of thing. So, um, so now I have these. But what I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to change this. I'm going to move this down here and I'm going to put this up here so move that down there you see never be frightened to change anything at all um which one was what did i just put in that one oh i've lost the other one there sorry it's one of my favorite things to do with any genre of stamps that you have you can always make this work always okay so now we've got top and bottom to go so i've got i've got these little ones here let's have let's put that in there where is its opposite Ooh, have i only got one of those hang on See if I can find another one of those. If not, I might move that out and use something else because I do like to have the same. It's the same old song. It's just a different meaning. Yeah, I'm going to move that out because I've only got one of them there. Okay, so I am going to now add, maybe I'll add a bit more of this. Okay, maybe I'm going to cut this in half. So I'm going to cut it up there. Let's put some there. Let's put some there. We've got these little hollies here. I can pop those there and that there. Why have I got more room at the bottom than I have at the top? That's a little bit of a mystery, isn't it? Um, maybe, maybe I'll put one of these hollies in. Let's squeeze one of those hollies up here. I don't think it needs it up the top actually yeah i've got more room up the top um oh i know what so because i've got more room let's move that across and the one that i've only got one of i'm going to pop that in there okay so my frame is really shaping up here okay i also like to put odd things in as well so maybe i'll have um a robin stood on that holly leaf there and maybe one stood on that holly leaf there and then i think i'm just going to add other things later okay so that is my base of my page i told you a lot of this background would disappear so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to put these off to one side because i haven't finished I'm still going to use, I'm just wondering whether to pop those in. I think I'm going to pop those going over the top. So I'm going to pop Rudolph going over the top. Now, now comes the sticking. 
What I would recommend you do if it's the first time you've done anything like this is take a photograph of this. Just take a photograph so you can remember where everything is. But what I do is I find something that's underneath like this. This holly is underneath both of these. So I'm going to glue that holly and I'm going to glue the opposite holly. And then I'm going to work round. And what I use is, I just use my glue stick, but it's in the fridge. So I'm just going to get my glue stick out of the fridge. When it gets cold and you start um, putting your heating on, you know, if you're in a cold place, your glue sticks tend to go a little bit um, mushy. So I keep my glue sticks in the fridge all the time. Okay, so remember, take a photograph if you want. If you're wanting to do exactly the same as mine, take a screenshot now, then you can see. Yours will look amazing, even if it doesn't look anything like mine. It will, it will look amazing. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to put down, actually, is I'm going to put the reindeer because they're going to go under there as though they're coming across the page. So I'm just going to take that and then I'm going to add some glue when it's bigger pieces of card I do add a little bit of double-sided tape as well but for these small pieces of card and every now and again something drops off but do you know what you just glue it back on it's not a problem just don't want any glue so just press it down firmly all this will move as you're doing it everything will move probably won't look anything like you started when you're using your glue stick nice um non-stick craft sheet and i use like an old it's like a lint free cloth okay so now i'm gonna start i'm gonna start in this top corner with this holly here because it's underneath so I am going to add the glue on the holly. I'm going to slide it back in and I'm going to press it down firmly. OK. Then I'm going to come to the opposite side. I'm going to take the holly out of the opposite side and glue in that side. Let's move that and glue that in there okay and then what you do is you work around so you have to decide yourself if I go this way this holly is on top of here but this is also on top of here so I'm going to glue this bit down so I'm going to take this part out you always glue the underneath first okay so I'm going to take that part out and I'm going to pop that in there. Come down here, do the same with this one. You can see where everything just moves round a little, it'll be absolutely fine. And then I'm going to get rid of the glue. Because if you don't, you're going to pick up glue all the time and it's going to drive you mad. OK, so I've got this one and this one. So let's stick this one. Don't worry if you've got little gaps because I can fill them in with things. What we're doing is we're putting the basics down, really. Did you ever make a, a picture frame and cover it in seashells? <laughs> you always put the big ones down first, didn't you? Now here, because I've got two, I'm going to glue this one, then this one. So I'm going to pop that one in there. And then I'm going to glue that one on the top. So instead of looking at the whole thing as a whole, which is like, oh, where do I start? We've just taken it into bite size chunks. So all we've done at the moment is we've come across the top here and we've come across the bottom here. OK, we've done the same. So now I'm going to think about coming down here. So this goes over here 
but it also goes over here. That goes over there. So again, I'm going to glue that one down first. Does everybody understand that? So I'm going to take that out. At the end, there's always something I've forgotten to glue. So don't worry about it. And like I say, you could use, it could be any theme. I'm just finishing off the year with a, um, I'm just finishing off the year with the holly and the ivy, but it could be absolutely anything. Again, over to the opposite one. Let's get that one out. And the beauty is, because you've done it in two areas, if you move everything and can't remember where everything went, you've done the same over here, opposite, so you can find it again. So stick down that one there. <coughs> okay, then this is going to go on the top. This is going to go on the top. Can you see, if you just take it down into bite-sized chunks, you'll be absolutely fine. And the beauty, as I say, with having the classes like this is you can pause, you know, you can't pause me when I'm live, but when you come to rewatch it, you can pause me, you can mute me, you can do all sorts. You can take screenshots, you know, so, um, and all of the classes on my website are like this. I started off doing classes on Facebook Live, but it just kept, kept, just started becoming more and more difficult on there. Um, so we invested heavily, heavily in this website and we run all the classes on the website. And what's nice is now you've got your account on there. If you, you know, you can just go into classes and you buy them and they instantly go into your account. When we had them on Etsy, we had to send you links. We had to send you all sorts of things like that. Emmy was up all night long, you know, doing. And now she's worked so hard on this website. And now you purchase the class and it goes straight into your account, into live classes. And then all, all your old ones are there as well. We have blips like anything. One time it... it you couldn't empty your basket. We got that sorted. Another time you couldn't see the classes for like two hours. We got that sorted. It's, you know, it's just so much easier for us. Right, coming down here, I want these two corners to be on top. Okay, so I'm just going to move that there. So I'm going to put that one in and then I'm going to glue that one on top. Okay. So, and like I said, just by doing one at a time and then doing its opposite, before you know it, you've nearly finished. You know, you've nearly done the whole thing. And then this is going to fit in the corner here. there oh her life is so much easier honestly even like just doing this class she had to admit everybody to groups and everything she was just there forever and uh, now she just gets a little bit of respite so right let's go up to the top here so I don't know if you've noticed but this is my last two that I'm adding on If you are watching this class um, not live, if you're watching it afterwards, I will have taken photographs of all this and underneath the class there'll be a little gallery of um, the finished product in lo with lots of little different angles. Okay, so if you go back and look at it afterwards, you'll, you'll see the gallery on there. And every class that has already been has got a gallery there as well. The, the single day classes are called online classes. They usually have a name as well, but we call them online classes. Um, if, they're, if they're two days long, I'm just going to snip that because I don't want it to go over. There we go. Over the spine. If they're 
two days long, they're called Online Plus. And if they're four or five days long, they're called Distinctly Dilusions classes. And they're all, they're all there. You can also buy postcards and things on our website. We don't sell the product. There is, there is a um, thing showing every single product that I have, but we don't sell the product. We leave that to the stores. Right, so now I'm going to pop this little robin on there. And I'm adding, if you notice, it's at, they're at different heights because now I'm just going to start playing around a bit. So I'm going to pop that little robin on there. I might maybe pop him on, pop him up there. But that whole border is stuck. Amazing, isn't it? When you take it step by step by step. Let's have him balancing on there. Okay, so that's my main things at the moment. So I'm just going to clean up my desk. And then what I what I want to do is I'm going to um, close it a few pages and then I'm going to really press it down really, really hard. The other thing you can do is you could take some kitchen roll and you could place it on like this and you could get yourself a little brayer and you could brayer it down, but you wouldn't do it straight on, you know. So either a piece of card or some kitchen roll, like so, or just go, you know, just go over a couple of pages and just press it. Oops. Just firmly press it down like so. You can even do it from the back as well. The other thing that I do is I like to trim everything from the back. Because if you don't trim it, you're going to catch it and it, you might, you know, you might catch it and it might come off. So I go from the back and anything that's protruding gets snipped off. Because if you catch it, it could pull the whole thing off. Oops. Okay. I know it's not a lot, but trust me from experience, especially if you travel with your journals, which I do. They get, you know, these tiny little bits that look as though they're so innocent can pull everything off completely. Okay. Goodness me, blimey. Look at that, I caught it on the holly. <laughs> oh, you can never snip your own snippers, can you? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Let me try my big scissors. Oh, Mr. Boo, can you just come and help me snip? Why won't it snip? Goodness me, I'm going to just tuck it in. I'm just going to tuck that in and snip it off later. Right, okay. So, there we go. So, that is the basis of my page at the moment. And you can see that outside, you don't really see much, but I just wanted to do it anyway. I wanted to show you. So, what I do next is I outline everything, okay? I just outline it with a black pen and start where you first started gluing. So that what the black pen is just a paint pen. What the paint pen will do is it will make this look as though it's a little bit of a shadow around it and it grounds everything to the page. So if it goes over the top of something like this, I go around it and I draw around it in here. Now, if you're a very messy gluer, I would wait an hour before you do this because the glue will eat your pen. 
okay and again do you have to do this no but i always do i people always want to know what i've done so i show you what i've done but that doesn't mean that you have to do it okay i just show you what i've done you know i don't pe need people going oh i never do that or oh i do it differently that's fine you do that but this is what i this is what i do I can only show you what I do. My way is my way. It's not the best way. It's not the only way. It's just my way. And I can only teach you my way. Okay? And that's what I try to do. And I always, always outline everything. I just feel it gives a more finished look, personally. And where something overlaps another thing, I outline as well. So I go around everything and I just turn my book round. So can you see as well, little bits are sticking up. I'm not too, I'm not bothered. I could go back through and add a bit more glue. If there was a lot sticking up, I would, but I'm not bothered. That You know, this is not going to be handed down from generation to generation. It's not going to be entered in in a massive art show it's not going to be hanging in the Tate gallery and um, it's just something that i like to do so you know don't be too hung up on, on things i never take much care when i'm doing but you can but i don't because I just enjoy what I'm doing. I enjoy... It, if I had to really think about it and be very careful, that would take all the enjoyment away from me. So I don't... I just... To me, my mental health and enjoying myself is more important than anything else. You know, sometimes people say, oh, I thought she was supposed to be good. Have you seen where she's gone out the line? It just makes me laugh because I'm just doing what I do. And that's all that matters. And don't let anybody else tell you you should be doing it a certain way. <laughs> Do the only thing I would say is when people say, oh, I can't get the results that you do and I, that you get. And I go, oh, well, do you do what I do? No, I don't do what you do. Well, you're not going to get the results. Do you see what I mean? Somebody once said, I don't get the result, results you do with your ink. And I say, you have to use a lot of ink. And they go, no, I don't like to use a lot of ink. I think it's very wasteful, but I want the effect that you do. And I'm like, but you can't get that effect. If you don't use a lot of ink, well, I'm not using a lot of ink. Well, that's fine, but I don't, I don't really know what to say to you. So that's the only time I would say if you want the result I've got, you need to do what I've done. But the rest of the time, just do what makes you happy. But um, I always outline, even though I'm doing black on black here, it gives that little bit of a shadow and it just grounds whatever you're doing to the page. And I'm not neat, as you can see. I got the lines, I don't know how many times. Okay, so I think I've outlined everything apart from Dasha, Prancer and Rudolph. <laughs> So I'll outline those. And you could have just stamped them straight onto the page. These are stamped and cut out. Because me and Emmy love cutting out. Oh, look, I've caught it again. I'm catching this sleeve. Oh, no. Oh, I've made a hole in my Christmas dress. I never wear it. I never have a Christmas dress. Look at this gold. Let's uh, probably never get one again. Let's just pull it up. I actually wore this Christmas Day, would you believe? 
Right, so there we go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to add is I am going to add some buttons because I do like mixing up my different things. Now, if we look in here, I've also got some Christmas lights. Do, 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 do. Some Christmas lights, and then let's have some buttons. So these are from these two stamp sets. So this is so easy, and this is actually a border, but I um I stamp the border out loads and loads of times and then I cut all these bits out. Okay, so I think these are really nice to use. I've used these a lot in the Christmas as well. This is sampler. So I am going to find in here, you can see, look, I use these as banners, um, tinsel for the tree, different things like that. But what I'm actually wanting is some of the buttons. So I'm going to lift out. Little things always drop to the bottom. So here we go. Let's get some... Let's get some button, buttons out. Um, got some heart buttons, some small buttons. The heart button, the small button, a boot on. <clears throat> another one of that one but there we go there we go there we go Bing. okay so we've got some buttons there and anyway you think there might be a gap you just stick a button on or something on it so we could have a button there we could have a, a button in there. We could have a Christmas light there. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's have a button down there. Let's have a heart button in there. And you just add them in and just, um, you know, if you think to yourself, I need something extra there you can just do it um we could have like the robin could be holding one of those in there I can have another one down here and you just play and just add some of these somebody just put does it does it take a long time to cut out all those pieces i don't know because we don't cut them out all together we just cut out both emmy and i can't sit and just do one thing so we cut them out while watching you know emmy cuts them out while watching um netflix and things i cut them out while listening to talking books uh so you know we just we've, we've just always cut out we like cutting out i know some of you will be like oh that's the worst job in the world but you get to play like this. So can you see where I've added them around? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue those buttons in. And that's just filling any of those little spaces in. But you could have done that with, um, you know, individual leaves, little things like that. So I'm going to take that, put that on the holly, and I'm just going to work around the frame. and just glue these buttons down and then when I've glued them down so there's buttons there's um Christmas lights it's much easier to be creative when you've already cut things out much easier if you if you are having to think to yourself, hmm, 
right what shall i get on the what stamp set step stamp set shall i use etc i just um have loads and loads of boxes like this with just loads of cut out images and then i just root through the boxes it's much much easier in the long run so i'm just working my way around here I think this would be nice to do on a actual picture frame as well. You know, take a picture frame, paint it, get um, stick all these all around, ring it out every Christmas. As I say, I've done it with shells, I've done it with cake, I've done it with um, um, flowers, I've done it with, you name it, I've made borders like this. So, now, is that everyone? <laughs> One way of finding out. Yes, nothing dropped off. Okay, so let's press it down again. Okay, so now I'm going to outline all those that I've just added. So I'm going to get that. And again, I'm going to come round in this direction so that I don't miss any out and we go Just work your way around, outline, oops, those. I outline everything. Whenever I have something on, I outline it. That's them all. Okay. So then I'm going to put my main things in and I don't know what I'm going to use for my main things maybe I will use maybe I will use Santa and maybe one of the large robins do, 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 do. Maybe I will have that. Do I want to put Mrs. Claus in? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Where are you, Mrs. Claus? If I put in, oh, maybe I'll just have those two. I shall just have Mr. and Mrs. Claus in there because Mr. Big Robin is it, just taking up too much space. So, yes, that's what I'm going to have. So, I'm going to get rid of these little bits. Um, back into the box where they came oh i was gonna have a little deer wasn't i again i don't i don't think i need him i think he's yeah i don't think i need him so we'll put him to one side okay bum, 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 bum. there we go so let's get them glued down now these two are on top of a lot of different things and they're bigger so I am just going to add a bit of double-sided tape to them 
as well okay so I am going to just have a big a piece of double-sided tape there and a piece there do, do, do. but these could have been um in another class I used couture in another class I used I don't know some of my other the bodies you know it can be anything but I'm gonna, I could have him right down at the bottom but I'm actually going to have him here I'll put her next to him and as I say if you're not you know you're not doing Christmas it's fine Just stick something else on here whoops there we go okay so <coughs> let's outline those as well and that's all the outlining done Remember, if you're a bit of a messy gluer, don't do this for a while. Let your glue settle first. Okay, so that is my main um, <coughs> page done. So now, I mean, you could leave it just like that. It looks really nice just like that. But we're, I'm going to colour it. I'm going to colour. So I am going to use my inky water brushes but I'm going to explain what you can use if you don't have these. So the inky water brushes, I've used these for, I don't know, 10, 12 years. Um, these are the Tim Holtz water brush, which looks like that, um, filled with my spray inks. Okay, so I have all my warm colours here and I have all my coal colours here. But if you don't have that, you can use the sprays. On, let me just get a spray you can use the actual sprays spray a little bit on your mat and you can use this is, these are my brushes you can use a little brush to color with okay so it's entirely up to you or you can use whatever you've got i like to color with my inks then everything matches but you might have pencil crayons you might have i don't know whatever you've got that you want to color with OK, but I, that's what I'm using. Now, some of my inks can be quite dark, so I like to sort of have two shades of them. For example, this is Periwinkle Blue, which is... Um, just let me show you this. <clears throat> this is Periwinkle Blue, which is quite dark. So I also, if you see me use um, a brush, oh, where's it gone? That has, I don't know where it's gone. It's there, but the, the tape's come off. <laughs> Usually, if you see me use a brush with washi tape on, like this, I've added water. So it's a watered down version. Can you see? So I've got two colours. So for example, another one that I can show you. I think I've got these. Oh, here we go. This is Balmy Nights. Okay, so it's quite dark. This with washi tape round is Balmy Nights with some water added. So I do that as well. Okay, but you could just you you could just pick some up. So I'm going to show you. Oh, 
Where is my page? Oh. There we go. I'm going to show you how I start. I always have my um, warms and cools separate from each other. So I'm going to pull out some greens. There's going to be a lot of green in this because there's a lot of holly. So I'm just going to pull out some of the greens that I've got here. I'll go through them again. I'll go through them in a minute. Chopped pesto. So I have um, <clears throat> in my greens, I have fresh lime, I have mushy peas, island parrot, um, cut grass, dirty martini, polished jade, which is very dark. So I have a light polished jade as well. Chopped pesto, which is the darkest. OK, and I... I don't use them all, but this is what I tend to do. I tend to pick one colour and I go all over using it, OK? So I am going to take the Island Parrot and I am going to colour in these hollies. I'm going to colour this side of each, any holly that's got the stripe on. I am going to colour in the open side of the holly, OK? So I'm just going to work my way around any of the open holly so I'm not concentrating one in one area I'm concentrating on one color and I'm just going to go through the borders okay so I'll go here I'm not really going to do much shading in this because there's so much going on that you don't need to shade. So I am just doing straightforward colouring. OK, so at the moment I'm doing anything where half the holly is stripes. OK, and then if you can see, there's nothing top and bottom like that so I think I am actually going to do these hollies as well I'm going to come down here so I pick one colour and I go around I don't do the main I'll do that afterwards I am just doing the borders of it at the moment so we'll go with those in there as well okay so I've done that color I'm just going to pop that uh, to one side now so now I'm going to get the next color cut grass and I think I will do every other stripe in these So where I've already been round and added Island Parrot, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do every other stripe of this one. Again, I'm never too fussed. I just enjoy doing that. You know, I, I don't plan anything out in my head beforehand. I just go and do it. Every green is going to work because everything is green. I think I'm going to do these leaves green as well. These holly leaves here. <coughs> so then, therefore, it will be those holly leaves there. Just squeeze it, it's just not coming out as much. The aim is to enjoy yourself. My aim is not to produce the best art, the best work. My aim is to enjoy myself as I'm doing it. And that includes when I'm teaching you as well. I don't want to teach something if I'm not enjoying it. And if I had to do it really perfect, that would take a lot of the enjoyment away from me. So... The only person who looks closely at your work is you. You're your own worst critic. You just need to forget art. You know, you just need to remember that art is meant to be fun. 
Okay. So yeah, that's everything in green at the moment. So now I'm going to go with Dirty Martini. So I'm slowly going a bit darker. And so with Dirty Martini, I am going to do the ivy in here. So I'm going to colour all the ivy in, in Dirty Martini. Okay, um, ivy here. So can you see I'm just concentrating on one colour at a time. It just makes it so much easier. Um, down here, Ivy. The holly and the ivy. Do, 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 do. And some here. Wonderful. Okay, and then I think I am also going to do the, um, I'm going to do these, okay? I'm going to do both bits of it. When it's totally dry, I'll go in with a darker in the centre. But in these fronds, my fronds are going to be dirty martini. Oh, there's a little leaf behind there that I'd missed. Oh, and there's some ivy behind, holly behind, uh, ivy behind there as well. So I'm just going to go in with fronds. <laughs> frond. Do you call it frond? I've no idea what it's called. And you can do them any colour. Sometimes I do them in red. Sometimes I do them in yellows. People say you should be realistic. I'm sorry, but you've never seen anything like this. So, you know, you don't have to be realistic. It's delusions. We live in a delusional state. Anything goes. Move up here. Right, so I'm nearly there with the fronds. I don't know why I'm saying it in that funny way. I don't know, but I can't stop saying it now. <laughs> do, 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 Along here. There we are. Gosh. And then the last bit up here in Dirty Martini. And when that Dirty Martini is dried, I shall go in. You see that little bit in there? I'll go in there and I'll colour that in a slightly darker. So all I've done so far is all these different, you know, shades of green. Um, so now I'm going to go to Polish Jade. But I'm going to do the watered down Polish Jade. And I'm going to do the, the rest of that stripe. Ooh, I think my brush needs burping sometimes when um, you, it gets a bit of air in so if you squeeze it like that and you get like this blob bobble of ink just just burp it and get rid of it because otherwise it's just going to blot all over your page and it used to happen all the time when i was flying but now it just sometimes happens so you just give it a little burp Okay, so this is the watered down polished jade, not the full strength. Uh, do you have to do stripes? No, you could have just gone straight in and um, coloured it all one colour. Wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered. Depends what mood you're in, I always think. Oh, let's do this, this holly leaf down here because it's two colours. So let's go in with, um, this is the, the holly leaf that's only in one position, remember. Um, so now let's go along the top, come here and come down. And you know, there's a lot going on in this page, but this is all getting 
unified by just doing um, these, you know, these simple colours of green. Oh, there was one peeping out there, wasn't there? Yes, I'll have to go back and finish that one. I always miss one somewhere. Well, I think this is the last leaf there. There we go. So let me just finish this one here. So I had... Um, what did I have? Island? No, that's mushy peas. Where's Island Parrot gone? There we go. Island Parrot was there. And Cut Grass was there. There we go. I think we're up to date. Right, so the little holly in here I'm going to do with full strength polished jade. Because, you know, holly is a really different it's not this green but i want it to you know to stand out from the other greens <laughs> so i'm going to go in there so i'm working all over the page but i'm just going one color at the time so i'm just simplifying it down and this is how i do it you you can do it however you want um Oh, look, there's two under there that I've missed as well. So I need to go back to. And I've missed a holly, an ivy there. Once you start colouring in, you spot them all. Okay, so let's go back and add. Here we go. And nothing was difficult, you know. I suppose the most difficult thing is cutting everything out, but I cut it all out beforehand. So it's just the way I work. I find it much easier to work like that. But you you just work how you work. Okay, so I've just got this down here. Let's go for fresh lime. And I think I have done all the greenery. Oh, that's a, I just want to go in and check. Have I missed any greenery? Greenery, greenery. Hmm. I think all the greenery is done. Cool. So what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to do these two little robins. So I'm going to move that green out for now. And for the robins, I... I'm doing quite a traditional today, by the way. Quite often I'll do totally weird colours, but I'm, st I'm going quite traditional. So I'm going to use desert sand and melted chocolate for this. And I know I said I wasn't doing much blending, but I do tend to use these colours a lot. Oh, look at that. Goodness me. Threw the long one back. That would have been a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? So just let me get that going. Okay, so we'll have desert sand everywhere. Now I have done these robins uh, brown, pink, blue, turquoise, you name it. I'm just going to add some melted chocolate to it and then take the desert sand back in to just blend it a little bit. So here we go again. Desert sand everywhere. Bit of melted chocolate. Back with the desert sand. Okay, and then we've also got the little tail. <coughs> Ooh, just blotted. Okay. So we've done those. I know what I forgot to do, the inner of these. So I am going to get the polished jade. And now this is dry, I'm just going to add the little bit of polished jade in there. So you can see I painted one colour all over. You can always do this if you use the light colour first. 
So I paint it all over with the lighter colour and then I'm going in with the darker colour just to strengthen those, um, the inside of it. Excuse my sniffing, I think I'm getting a cold. Emmy's been really ill, really, really ill. Um, but I think I'm just getting a cold. I don't think I'm going to be like she was, but it has given me this little annoying sniff, so I apologise for that. Okay, so now I am going to go round and I am going to do all the berries in red. And I'm going to use post box red. Okay, so when I find post box red, where are you? There we go. So I'm just going to go in and do anything that's remotely berry in post box red. And that again, that will unify the frame all the way around. So we've used the same colours, the same, you know, we've used cool all the way around with the greens and now we're adding a warm, so we're adding in an opposite and you can see already how it's making that pop. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm going to do the Robin's hats as well in the red. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do first? <clears throat> Before I do that, I am going to do the beards and um, um, the moustache, the beards and the top of these hats. Um, you can't really replicate white very well. You could go in with some shimmer, but this is what I like to do. So I like to get a watered down blue. So this is watered down London blue. And I get a, um, a brush with just water in, okay? And what I'm going to do is I am just going to paint water in the hat and then I'm just going to add a little bit of blue and then I'm going to blend it with the water. So you get this blue tinge. I think blue tinge always looks nice. It looks snowy. So I'm going to do... Um, I'm just going to add some into his moustache. You've got to do it quickly while it's wet, otherwise it won't blend and you'll just get um, a little tide mark. So part of the beard. Okay. Mrs. Claus's fabulous tash. Part of her beard. Okay, and then if this part of the hat was going to be, um, say, white like these, you would do that as well. In fact, I think I will on this one. So you just colour it in wet and then I'm just going to add a little bit of that in. 
like so. Okay. So now I've got to wait for that to dry. Um, so what I'm going to do is these poinsettias here. I've already got post box red there. So I am going to use pure sunshine and cherry pie, which is the other red. Okay. So I am going to put the pure sunshine first. I'm going to come in here. I'll do for now. now I've got to wait for that dry so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do two of these Christmas lights in the pure sunshine if you introduce a colour you want it more than in one area you want it to look as though it belongs so I'm just going to pop that in those as well and this one here Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the cherry pie and you can see when it's next to the post box red it is a different red. And again I'm going over, I'm never bothered but you can take more care if you want to. I'm just going to turn it this way. I like to rest my hand on my journal when I am writing or colouring, so I always feel quite happy to turn my book upside down. You've got to be comfy. So I think I'm going to do Robin's hat in cherry pie as well. And to keep it quite simple, he's just going to have a full red hat. Sometimes I'll do stripes. And he can have little stripy socks in the same colour. But I'm going to do the red breast in the post box red. Okay. You just don't want the same shade, you know, for everything. But you can see how it's building up. It's just slowly, slowly building up. Um, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to do melted chocolate shoes. And I've already used melted chocolate in the Robin. So it will go. Oh, blimey. Oh, no, I've got a big blob. Look at that. If you get a blob, just blot it. And it looks as though, yes, it just needs a burp. I think because my studio is not being used as much over Christmas, well, mind you, it has, I've been in here a lot, but it's going warm, cold, warm, cold. I think that is affecting the pens a little bit. Okay. So... What I've got left now is I am going to do the tops of the ornaments in um, grey as though they were sort of silver. So slate grey, I'm just going to do the top of the ornament. 
and then I've got the buttons. That's about all I've got left. Just seen where I've missed one of those there. So the buttons, I am going to do um, the beaks in squeezed orange. And because I've got that there, I can do some of the buttons in squeezed orange. So I'm going to do some buttons squeezed orange and the rest I'm going to do in red. Okay. So we'll have that one. Maybe we'll have this one. Uh, maybe this one and I'll I'll add some stitching to it and that'll be the last thing I do the stitching I'll show you so let's have this one okay and then the others can be in red so some in postbox red some in cherry so I think this one can be Da, 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 da. So I shall do some in post box. That one, that one. Maybe this one behind here. Maybe, maybe this one. And then what's left, I will do in cherry. And that will be the frame done. So that's how I tackle things, you know, just bite sized pieces. We started placing two of the same stamp down opposite each other then we placed two more of the same opposite etc and then when we came to glue them we did exactly the same we glued an underneath we went to the opposite glued another underneath so it's just little bite-sized pieces and it's the same with the coloring i didn't say right color all that i took one color and i went all over the frame with that color and then i chose another color and went right round the frame with that color i just find it's well for me it's just much easier i choose something do it when i'm bored i just choose something else and do it okay so that is the border done except i haven't done um the bobble so that bobble and that bobble a little bit of water a little bit of blue Okay, so now I'm going to start, oh, I know what I'm going to do. Before I start on these two, because these are nice and dry now, I'm going to take a red paint pen and I'm just going to make Rudolph's nose so bright. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Right then, these two down here. Quite often, I will colour in between these and do every um in fact hang on have I done that in here I've just been finishing yeah can you see here where I've actually coloured the harlequin in in totally different colours that does take a lot of doing and it's a bit fussy so this is the opposite way of doing it all right so I'm going to do him green. So I'm going to take two shades of green. I'm going to take Island Parrot and Dirty Martini. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am going to colour Island Parrot all over. And then add a little bit of shade with Dirty Martini. So colour. And then pat it all over, be the shade. Now, when we're talking about shade, my sunshine always comes from the top right. Okay, so any my sun's there, so any highlights on the top, so any shade is this side. So when you're doing anything that's shaded, that's the first thing you have to decide where is your sunshine, and your shade will be from the opposite. So if you don't want to individually 
colour these harlequins and I mean I don't think there's anybody mad enough as mad as me you can just do them like this and they still look good so I'm going to add and it's much quicker so it's up to you Ba, 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 ba. Okay, so let's have another shade of green. He's going to be all greens. Where's cut grass gone? There we go. So we'll have cut grass in here. Okay, and then, um, no, no, come, sorry, there we go. Let's colour in his little sleeves. And these can be stripey. I'm going to use cut grass and I'm going to use dirty martini. And I might give him little red socks, we'll see. Do, 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 do. And again, sometimes I, I colour all these stripes in individually and sometimes I don't. Okay, now his boots. I think I'm going to do dirty martini and chopped pesto. So, do them one colour and then add a little bit of shade in. Da, 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 da. Oh, added a bit more shading than I wanted there. It flicked. That's why you should never be too precious about your work because you never know when you're going to get a flick from above. Okay, and he can have red socks when they've dried. And then she, she can be... Um, I might make her... Oh, look, got another blob there. Goodness me. Um, I might make her yellow, you know. Yes, I'm going to make her yellow. So, pure, pure sunshine, where are you? There we go. <coughs> so. so I'm going to go in between the hearts this time. The stripes, I'm just going to go over the top, the whole stripe. And you can spend, you know, as much or as little time on these. I'm doing these quite quick tonight, but... Sometimes I take a lot longer. Go with whatever your mood feels like. Okay, so I'm going to paint the noses and I'm going to do cherry pie for the noses because that blue is now dry. I'm going to give him cherry pie socks. Lovely little popper colour on his socks. Okay, so I've just got to wait for this yellow um, 
to dry because if you don't wear it for, to dry, um, it will smudge. So I'll do the boots, I think. And I think I'm going to do the boots cherry pie and pomegranate seed. Actually, no, I'm just going to use pomegranate seed because that's quite dark. There we go. On its own. Oh, that's blobbing as well. Goodness me, goodness me, don't, I don't want you to blob, I'm near the end. There we go. So I'm going to use cherry pie in the hearts. So if you're not using the water brushes, just make sure you've got a brush with a, you know, quite a fine point on it. For little things like this. And then once I've done the hearts, I'm going to go back and do the stripes. And then I'm going to put the finishing touches on. stripes so you see you can either leave a gap like like I did with the hearts I went round the hearts or you can just color the whole thing and then go back with your second color as long as the first color is your lightest color it will work okay so can you see here where I haven't cut out what I normally do is I go in with a black paint pen anything like that and I will just paint it in and nobody will know that you didn't cut that bit out so I can do it there have I got anywhere else I don't think anywhere else will really bother me that much no Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do now. You could just leave it alone, leave it exactly as it is. Or you could, if you wanted to, you could take a white paint pen and you could um, outline your stencil. like so i won't do them all i'll do them all for when i photograph it but you don't have to sit and watch me do them all in here actually there's not that mm, no well you could do this you could leave it you could ignore it whichever um you know so you could outline in like that um, and the other thing that i would do I'm not even going to put quote. I might put quote on this. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. But the other thing I would do is the buttons. But I'm, I'm, what I want to do is show you something else first. Okay. So before I go to that, because I'm going to be using the glaze pen, which takes ages to dry. So before I do that, I just want to go. Where did I put those? Where did I put the baubles? That was one. But where was the other set of... there so i just wanted to show you um what i would do on here so you would um have a little bauble top okay and then you would outline them Again, you can be neater than me. You can put a little highlight on them. OK, 
okay and you can either leave them like that or you could decorate them i actually like them like that and because the the you know the shimmery but they look different but the other thing you could do is you could um draw on them so we could have stars in these ornaments here or you could have um spots you could have stripes or you could have stripes going this way okay and then you could color those in you could leave them like that and then you would just um There you go. That's the start of another page. And that was because I didn't want to ruin the, uh, you know, get rid of the, the paint. Okay, and then you can go in again with your um, colours. So this one. And because my inks are transparent, the shimmer still comes through from underneath so you know it will look as though i've done shimmery colors on the top Okay, so there you go. That's your, um, you know, that's what you can do with all the baubles. And it was just using up the leftover paint, really. I and mean, you could you could take a lot more. You know, you could do a um, take a lot more time, spend more time doing them, um, and different bits. And there was some more, wasn't there? I don't know where. You know, you can add them in. That's a that's the reverse of that stencil, I think. So anyway, so I wanted to show you that before I put the finishing touches to this one. So one of my favourite pens to use is the um, Secura glaze pen. OK, the black glaze pen. And I absolutely love it because when you use it, if you write slowly with it it gives you, you you can't really pick it up too much on camera but it gives you a raised glossy uh, if you write fast it doesn't work but if you go nice and slow it will give you this raised glossy that looks a bit like embossing and i like to do the stitching um like that so i am going to add some stitching in there and so it looks as though it's slightly raised. So I'm just going to go into the buttons and this is going to be the finishing touch. And then I have to wait for this to dry, which is why I showed you the baubles first. And then I'll decide whether I am. Can you, I'm hoping you can see the gloss on the on the buttons. Uh, so the last thing, if anything, is maybe I'll put. I think I might have only got big. Um, quotes left um, oh what about ho blooming ho that would be quite fun there I'm going to put ho blooming ho yeah ho blooming ho so these are my um, back chat So we're going to have 
ho, blooming ho. And I normally like to outline them. Okay, so I will finish this off before I take photos. So before I take photos, I will, you know, doodle all this. And the photos will probably go on tomorrow because I will be, um, I have to go give Mr. Boo his insulin. I'm going to turn the camera around, so don't worry. Turn the camera around and then I will, before I go, hang on. If I lose you, I'm really sorry. I try not to lose you at this point. Oh, actually, let me just do this. Then you can see. Do, 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 do. A big close-up. Look at that blob there. Terrible. Right, let's turn you around. Oh, ping. Oh, I didn't cut you off. Look how red I am. He's so warm in here. Oh. We'll take this back down, this mane back down. Put my crown back on. Oh, back to front. I know you all like to think that I um, create with my crown on. I don't. This fringe, growing out fringe is driving me up the wall. Anyway, so... I'm very guilty of not looking at tons of the comments. I'm so sorry. I can't do everything all at once. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you are new to us, this is how, how classes go. I try to show you as many techniques, but I try to explain them. I always tell you why I'm doing something, whether there's an alternative to use um, or anything like that you know it's not just about pushing di dilutions products obviously I love it when you use dilutions products and uh, because my classes are made with those products and the products are made especially for me but it's all about having a go so you know improvise and use whatever it is that you want I usually do do a free class between Christmas and New Year um, but you know, if you've enjoyed it, it would be lovely if you bought another class, the classes start, I think at 15 pounds. Um, that would be really nice to, um, the website, I can't tell you how much the website, <laughs> I think I've got less left on my mortgage than the website, but anyway, so it would be nice. Um, you know, we like to support, I like to support people who support us. So you know, this is um, a thank you to everybody who buys all my online classes. But it's also to show new people who might be a bit scared. So I know some people are scared of me or scared of watching, uh, you know, buying a class, not sure what to do. So it's it's for that as well. And, you know, if you feel that you could do a class, um, you know, I would love to have you on a class as well. You The classes will stay with you forever. So even though you haven't paid for this class, this will always be in your account, okay? It will always be there. It won't disappear at all. And when you buy um, a class from me, it will stay there. I can't say it'll stay there forever because I don't know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen in 20 years' time or whatever. But... We don't put a time limit on the classes. We don't say you have to watch them. You know, I buy all these classes and they go, you have to watch them in six months. It takes me six months to remember that I've actually bought them. So, um, you know, I can't do that. I've lost all those. I have classes that are just one night like this. They're normally longer than this. They're normally minimum two and a half hours. I have classes that are two nights. I have classes that are four nights. And I have classes that are five nights as well but never more than two and a half hours a night because that's a nice chunk to learn i find if you go over that if i go to sort of three hours that's a lot to take in and do um we have total beginners on the classes we have people who've done lots and lots of classes as well i have lucky dip classes that you never know what it's, it's a bit like this you don't know what it's going to be till i do it um and all sorts so you know but any you know if you liked the the first bit we did with the stencils and you didn't like the second bit you've learned something if you just liked the second bit you've learned something if you've done this before you've learned something because we've done it slightly different you know so oh i've got, I've got feathers mr boo will think i've been the birds oh 
there we go so all he's done for the last couple i've been knitting a lot the last couple of days and i'm back doing my quilting so i'm sat in my swingy chair and of course mr rex isn't here so he is just in his element his boo sat in the swingy chair i have to knit like this or sew like this because big fat lads there so i have to sort of go over the top and knit like that um in fact i was talking to jim earlier and i was just sent him a picture of me doing my quilting and said you know i've quilted it with cat hair because it is cat hair gets sewn in but love and cat hair oh let me just show you this my favorite christmas present it was from emmy oh my gosh oh my gosh <gasps> Mr. Boo, you're looking mighty fine. Look, look at his eyebrows, because he's only got one eye. Can you see? One eyebrow goes up, the other eyebrow goes to the side. I do have a big picture of him on the wall, a bit like this, but it's darker. And when he has the two eyes, so Emmy um, did this one. It's my favourite. So that is, um, yeah, Mr. Boo's um, thing. Uh, oh yeah, Dandelion Club. If you if you're new, I also have. Oh, I've got to cut that. I've caught it. Uh, we have the Dandelion Club, which is a club where you pay subscription monthly. So it's twelve pound ninety nine a month, and in that month you get two videos um, a week. In there, you get. Uh, we do downloads. I do a free class every month, um, and the class actually costs you more than the, your subscription you know your monthly subscription so you do get your money's worth but we get all sorts in there and there is a facebook group as well but that's a monthly where you pay every month so anyway even if you know don't worry there is no pressure this isn't a you've got to go buy those classes you've got to join the club it would be lovely if you did but it's lovely to see you here on this class um, and I hope you have, I hope the rest of the year, oh, two days, is good for you. Don't anybody claim 2023 as their year. I don't want anybody going, 2023 is my year. Let's just creep in. Let's just like slowly, because, you know, the last couple of years, people have been, 2021 is my year. Oh, 2022 is going to be the year. And each time we've got, we've got, pfft. so just, you know, just slowly ease into 2023 and we'll see what happens okay so mwah, mwah, love you all bye oh it didn't go off <laughs>